So here is a methodology for re for synchronizing audio from two separate sources that I don't actually use that much. Uh, first, we'll take the piece of footage that we want, which has a name that is uncontrollable, so it's called P1030363. We'll just drag it onto the timeline from the project file. So now, this is the camera audio. <coughs> and then, because we know, it, because it's somewhere at the very top of this, somebody said, This is 189. So, somebody said that it was 189. In this particular case, it was me. So, we hunt around for the audio for 189. Actually, let's just go ahead and open it up and grab premix audio for 189. And now we'll take this 189 and we'll drag it onto the timeline. Now, these files won't be in sync because we started the audio much earlier, we cut it somewhat later. So there, the audio and the video right now are both locked at their respective heads, and it's way out of sync. Right? So it, that, that's just nonsense. All right. So now what we're going to try to do is synchronize the stuff here all along the timeline. As soon as I can get back to having Adobe Premiere on top. So I select everything and go to synchronize and we synchronize audio. The bottom one. Track channel uh, doesn't matter in this particular case. You can imagine that there might be some situations where you want to use one thing or another. You hit OK. And it takes a little bit of processing. So let's see how it's done. That seems pretty good. We're actually going to, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to mute the camera audio track. And that seems pretty much in sync. Uh, just for our own amusement, why don't we listen to only the camera track? See how much different. See how different it sounds. Huh? Camera sounds pretty good, actually. Get a little bit more of the brassy sound out of the uh, the mix that I did, but it's a little bit uh, warmer sound out of the camera. feed a whole bunch of things. So what's the thing that's potentially wrong about this? Well, you'll recall that the camera audio is three frames out. Now what you can do if you were really obsessive compulsive about getting the absolute sync happening. Here I'm zooming in. We can see that the waveforms from the camera audio really pretty much match up with the waveforms from the uh, from the uh, outside recorded stuff. If we really wanted to, we could move the new stuff back a few frames. Uh, three frames because we discovered that it this camera is, in fact, off by three frames. Uh, nobody except for us will notice it. But that's the thing. Now let's pretend that the audio that we mixed is better than the camera audio. But 
again, we're just pretending. 